and I am back with Clover again. This next matchup, we're ready to send you to the West Conference side. Now it's a great matchup, as we're about to be seeing the T's and the team in the Western Conference from the South and from the North of Minnesota to OKC. This next game is the Thunders facing on against the Minnesota Timberwolves. This is the first kind of its game as we're about to be seeing what goes in. And this matchup is never going to let that one slow it down. For the next commentary, I will have it across here as right now I have the next one on board. This time, it's Son of Peace and he's also along with Paintbrush. And finally, the last part of a commentary on the other side is Gangsta Beats. And the right part of this reporter, we have Stephen Aldrich. Here to start in lineups for the Thunders, Shane Gordon's Alexander, with Josh Giddy, Hooden Storm, Jalen Williams, and Chad Olgren. On the other side for the Wolves, Mike Conley, Anthony Edwards, Jaden McDaniels, Carl Anthony Towns, and Rudy Gobert. Now, let's get to business. On to Target Center for the first game of round two. See you later, everybody, for a post-game show. The starting line to the team of the Thunders. It's all board. Move the stores. Absolutely. Josh Giddy. At the other shooting go up for the position, position, Jillian Williams. At the end of one more position, Shake is Warwick Salatender. He had coach for the OKC Funders. Mark Holt. Mark. Gary Dalt. Number three, Jaden McDaniels. Number ten, Mike Conley. Third four center position. Sister, we took number twenty-seven. For the Minnesota Timberwolves, Chris Fitch. This is your John Lyons for your Minnesota Timberwolves. Greetings, everyone. We are at Target Center. First night here of Game One at Minnesota. I'm Senate Beast, and I'm here with Paintbrush. And the other side, we have Escapes the Beast, David Aldridge on the sideline. This is going to be a great matchup right in between the second seed versus the third seed. And this starting point guard position is our Shane Burks Alexander, Mike Conley. He's also along with Carl Anthony Towns. And he's also along with Lou James Stewart, Holmgren, and Rudy Gobert are the center guard positions. Then across from here is Jalen Williams. He's with along with Anthony Edwards. Then across on the other side of it, we have is Josh Giddy on Anthony Edwards, and then in point, and then in the shooting guard position, McDaniels on Legion Store. Here we go. Game one starts now. Let's go. It's Cat. He'll start things over to Anthony Edwards. Starts a pass now, finding it again to Mike Conley. Conley now finds a pass to Towns. Towns starts with two. Takes it in. That'll be his first bucket of the night for the Minnesota Wolves. 
you got to say for a cat, he's really like all into his seven feet, and then he's really well in for Tate. All you can say now is, how does Carl Anthony Towns get there in front? This might be one way that this is going to try to take notice, and there may be another way that they can try to handle it over. He's the one says it done now. They don't really like a better performance ever, but they got to start things up here. And they want to light that game up. The pass now finding Mike Conley over again to Anthony Edwards. Looks over now by Mike Conley. The three for McDaniels. Starts it up for the three. That means first triple of the night for McDaniels. I was going to say no, I mean, you really got to play all hard you want, but no matter you do, don't take it here. And Lucian Stewart makes a drive. Five forces game, a close game matchup. Here's Mike Conley, he starts things over, he now finds Rudy Gobert. The fade, over to Cat. Now back again to Conley. Here's McDaniels on the outside, Lucian Stewart's on it now. Gives it over now to Towns. Here's the drive, kick in, finding Conley. For the two, misses from the outside, rebounding with the two. Here's McDaniels. McDaniel now finding it again to Towns, over to Gobert on the layup. It's good. Rudy Gobert with his first bucket. After Carl Anthony Towns with the assist. We just have to go in right now because Carl Anthony Towns got a great pass out there. And the foul is off the line. That'll be Anthony Edwards with his first personal in the first team foul. Right now, Chad Holmgren is on the free throw line. Is that the free throw line shooting too? You gotta start making some playmates out there. You don't start things over for Rudy Gobert. That one is gonna take over. A lot of uh, hard work for the credit. You don't start that off, it's gonna be on the hard team. First trip to the free throw line will be the OKC Funders. First free throw sets in for Chad Holmgren. You know, the thing about the uh, Chad Holmgren, he just really had that one all day. The starting of the standing of the guards really made it possible to be easier enough. But all that says right now, I mean, he's just to play for a better look at the ability. Competitions are not always uh, helpful, but play hard, work hard. Second free throw is good for Chad Holmgren. Now here's Mike Conley, he'll start things over on the other side now. Now I'll give it over again to Anthony Edwards. Here comes Gobert, backing over back to Conley. Conley swings it across again to Rudy Gobert. Gobert, here's a three for McDaniels. Gets a rebound, now finds it again to Anthony Edwards. For the two, this one's off the rim and it goes back to Chad Holmgren. The Gordon's Alexander find Williams. The pass over to show you Gordon's Alexander. Holmgren to Giddy. Giddy now finds Holmgren. Gobert is on him. The pass over to Giddy. He is a tight, and a great try puts it in for Josh Giddy. That'll be his first bucket as Holmgren with the assist. You know, easier one for Josh Giddy. It has to be a lot of like concerning things over. Better plays and offenses are not going to be easy enough if you try to keep it going. Kevin Edwards now finds it again over and again to Mike Conley. Conley gets it over. Not to get it, Conley. The spin. Finding over now is Anthony Edwards. The fight for two. He will take the range in there. Back up by one with a 9 8 game. That will be his first bucket for Anthony Edwards. Now to take. Towns on him now. Looks it over, trying to find an open room. Man advancing in with a spin. Home for three. That one misses for the outside. You know, you're just not going to stand in there now with the three pointers. You don't start that off that really well. I mean, that is not going to happen, but you're defeating a bit. You don't take that often, and you don't start that year. Here's Mike Conley, gives it over again to Gobert, again to McDaniels. Here's a take for the drive. This one's good. McDaniels with his second bucket. That's five points this game. Here's a pass now to Door for two. Rolls in and out. Gobert has got his third rebound of the night with four minutes to go. You know, easier says for Rudy Gobert. He's just really like having that end there. Having a little bit of fun out there. Playing like he wants to do for his legend every time. Playing in front of France. And he's really like all into everything. 
got to play very well. And since the January 29th was their win against the OKC Funders, they played really well. Got to keep it in there if you go for a between. Well, it all happened to be in free throws, and this was not how it's going to take. They really are expecting to play it really well. But now, you don't have to say sorry ever anymore. That has to be like, what are you trying to do? Trying to put me over it? I don't think that will happen. But they're just going to want to apologize if there's something else bad happening. The three for Conley. Swishes from the outside. That's his first three-pointer from Mike Conley. Now up by four. Oh, yeah. Mike Conley, what are you going to show him how to do? Shaker Gordix Alexander with a screen. Here's a cutting drive. I start to slam down. The Gordix Alexander with his first throwdown. Now he will put it over on the other side of it. You can see the percentage right now. The, the, the best one was 2022, 23 season. After that happened, it turned to be what he has been finishing with his accomplishment. Yeah, you gotta stay over here right now. So you Gordy Alexander. He played most of his career, all that pointer in there. And when you start that one big, you don't take the effort right now. I mean, that, that's what you gotta do to try and keep it in there. The rebound puts in for the OKC Funders. Passes over to Giddy, and he will make the bucket in. Josh Giddy ties this game as Shea Gordix Alexander makes that one the assist. Time on call by Minnesota Wolves with 2.24 to go. Now you don't have to talk about it over now. Got to place a little bit of a communication in there. They need to make that one a little bit of a hard offense if you drive, but don't take it anyway. That offense is going to kill your Wolves. And to say about the Minnesota Timberwolves, what would their next opponent be for their next regular season? Hmm, question out there. I mean, I'm not really sure who's going to take it in there. But hey, here's the catch. If they want to play here, they only played against the Magic right now. But I think their, their chances are they should go back home instead for Season 9. And that might be what they were expecting it for. Just got to play for one of the reasons. That's what they all have to do. They need to make sure they have it in there. All their timing angle is nobody is safe for it. They don't want anybody to get that one here left behind. We know anybody. It's just what they don't really appreciate that most. Got to play it at the right moment. And they all need to be here one time to another. New group substitution for these Wolves and for the Thunders. Monte Morris has checked in with Carl Anderson. The other side for the Thunders as they all checked out, Wallace, Joe, Wiggins, and Hayward are checked in. The other side for the, for the Wolves, all five players checked out, as right now Anderson, Reed, and Alexander Walker with Monte Morris have checked in. Here's Monte Morris. After scoring for the last season with the, with the Washington Wizards, he only played for a couple of his games since recalling this for the last season. All I have to say now, because of Monte Morris, he really had that one with a better chance. All that effort has to turn it in there, a great chance, and that drive is improvable. They mean about that one a lot great chances. So that way, that Monte Morris can have a new career record, hitting it over against the Wizards, and with a new team for the Washington to Minnesota. Here's Anthony Edwards on the outside, now I'll have it over again to Monte Morris. The three for Alexander Walker. We'll take the rage hand. Start things over for Alexander Walker. 17 and 14. Just have to start that one in there. The drive is just what you do. Take it all. Wallace. He's on Monte Morris. The screen puts it up for Hayward. Here's the cut. The three for a home break. And it will take the range outside to tie that game up. 17 to 17 to score with under a minute. Monte Morris will now have it over to get to Alexander Walker. He finds it over to get to Anderson. And Anthony Edwards decides to take the screen. Anthony Edwards with a switch. Over to Reed. Create a shot. Back the outside. We're going to get to Edwards. Spy to shoot. Gotta make some cuts in. It's blocked! And it's stolen by Holmgren. Here's Wallace with the cut. Over to Hayward. With the screen wrapping around in. Here's Wiggins on Ed Anthony Edwards. Five to shoot. Gotta make some shots in for three. Range no good. Just down to 10 seconds for the first period. 
the start off for, for Anderson. Time ticking down. We'll have it over. Walker for the buzz beater, and this one's off the rim. Tight even on a game between the OKC Thunders and Minnesota Wolves, 17 to 17. We will get to the next period quarter when we come back after the break. Hey, gotta start things over now. West Conference, better standing, better than ever. I'll drive in. And he's just tuning in for the second quarter. We're about to get this thing underway at Target Center. It's a tie game between the Funders and the Soap and the Wolves. Now let's have your side sucking in between, dear guys. How they did? Well, just because they really have it all over. They haven't started winning games off over it. They really have to be playing it for a real hard game. If nothing happens, they can't kill that game over instead. They have to be really confident right now. Play hard, play smart. The start for the second quarter. Shea Gordon Alexander, he's with Illusion Stewart. Venice Williams with Leonard Williams. And Josh Giddy with the shooting guard position. Here's Cat. He finds it over to get to McDaniels. He now has it again to Alexander Walker. The finding pass to Carly. The cut. Here's the drive take. The fade. Carly for three. Booms it out. How's it out with a number three player in the game? That's two in a row for the Wolves. Just got to play it easier now. All said and done. And one hand dunk made for good works, Alexander. While they're searching the crowd already, I don't know what's going on. Don't play like them if you have it all. Reporter from David Aldridge as Chris Finch has been taking over it as Rudy Gobert has a lot of struggle challenges after playing with the Utah Jazz. He's really into it all with the better performances, but he has to take it in between. Now, because you know that Rudy Gobert, he really has to get all of his trick. You know, this offense is not really picking up the way that they're supposed to do. Don't take the offense, because if nothing happens, you're going to have to take it over or in between. They really do not want that one to get pushed out right away. This Mike Conley with the ball and off again to Cat. The pass backing over. Back to Alexander Walker. Mike Conley decided to give a motion. The screen for Adam for Anthony. Now finding Towns. Right toward the middle. The layup and good. Cat giving the number two pointer. The reason why they call him Cat is because that is named after him. He's like a cat crawl. For some reason, you don't say, hey, cat, what do you got? You always say that Carl Anthony? Show him what you have at home. It's impressive right now. Carl Anthony Towns is really like a better one to take. McDaniels right towards inside. Here's Rudy Gobert up for two. Count the bucket in line. That would be Rudy Gobert's in the second bucket. Now it's a defensive foul called by the Thunders. And you always don't say, now Rudy Gobert, what in the world are you going to take? Now it's James McLaughlin. He will check in for Alexander Walker. One shot left for Rudy Gobert. He makes the free throw. Tell me where it's Alexander will have it. Back the other way it goes, trying to find an open look. Another defensive effort and a great drive, another breakdown for the Thunders. Well, be careful now because what happens for Gary Shady to Gordon Alexander? He's been like playing it for all season long. Has never been starting to quit over it, but he's going to watch out for trouble. The pass to Cap and good. Leia puts in for Paul Anthony Towns. He has eight points and Conley with the assist. Just keeping it in here for Carl Anthony Towns. I mean, he's already rocking it. The pass over to Williams. Williams now finds it again to Dork. McDaniels on him now. The pass over to Williams. Solid D. And now it's been grabbing over by, Carl, by Rudy Gobert. Here comes Cat. The face shot. Finding McLaughlin. Now finds again to Mike Conley with under five minutes. Finds again to Cat. Here's Towns. Passes off to Rudy Gobert. Gobert up with the drive. They'll get it back. Watching plays here as they will try to recruit their puck all again. McLaughlin has it now to Mike Conley again to Towns. Here comes McLaughlin for a two. They don't seek the triple in. Obvious first 
three player for McLaughlin. Now, because you don't say that how that McLaughlin had it all, he had that one coming right away. That's when you can get that one. Lots of energy move. Say start, sees the finish. The drive misses out. Josh Giddy with the ball. Back to the words, Alexander. The screen. Step back. Williams for two. Another miss by OKC Funders in the first half. Don't start here. You don't start pushing their way often. You don't want that one coming in there straight ahead. That Kenny's going to be taking it two months right away. The pass over now playing again to Mike Conley. The pass is off to McLaughlin. McLaughlin with a try. Stepping into the two. He makes it in. At Conley with the assist. He has five points this game. Just going to make it big now. I mean, don't take it in there even at the start of the second. Towns running now. Here's the drive, another take, and he will scoop it in. Timeout call by the Minnesota Wolves with 3.31 to go in the second quarter. Just don't start that off. You make this one what McLaughlin had to go with the Daniels. Got to start playing that one big. And for those of you who are always subscribed to my channel, thank you all so much for having me appreciation. And we always can appreciate to you all with your accomplishment or goal with the goals and new heights. We're ready to see what the next goal is when we get to 700 subscribers. We will try to see what they can do. But for the near future, in 2026, there will be some new changes here as we'll be adding some a little bit more in between. And you'll find out for sure what goes in right in between the seasons and, of course, the NBA playoffs to for the playoffs in between for the gaming status. It might be what they are going for. You might find out. And as we're getting these over on the other side, halftime report is coming up next after the first half is completed, as we have his Kennedy to Jet Smith, Jack O'Neill, and Ernie Johnson. Ready to start things over for the first half of the game. That'll be on its way next after this. New substitutions are on the move call, and right now new players are checking in. Anderson is checked in. Three players checked out as three players are checked in. Home Green, Hayward, and Wallace are checked back in. And for the Wolves on the other side of it now, as four, 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 four players are checked out, and McLaughlin moves to point guard, and Anthony Edwards back on the court. Here's a tuck. Taking something big here with some love as Anthony Edwards has his second bucket. Here's Josh Giddy with three minutes. Josh Giddy trying to handle this way down. The pass. Home break for two. Misses from the outside. Anderson with his first rebound of the night. Now we'll have a hit from McLaughlin. You know, sometimes that rebound is going to take too much. Nobody wants to say, hey, that. why is that one losing the paint? Nobody can let that one agree with you like that. Anderson for two. Rolls in on the rim and it goes in the net. This one starts off for Anderson. Hey, no big of a deal, Kyle Anderson. Got a great bucket in. The pass over to Hungry. Here's Hayward. Hayward with the ball movement. The pass off to Williams. Here's the two. That misses again. McLaughlin will have his first rebound of the night. Get it over to get to Anthony Edwards. Here he comes in the drive. That takes it in. I don't know if sings it all. As Anthony Edwards has six points in this game. We are down to two minutes remaining in the first half of the game. The 40-25 score. Mitch Wallace, the finish off. Pick him up. He will take it over here. Nice defensive effort from McLaughlin. You know, when that started off that big, you don't have to do a story about, hey, McLaughlin, I know you got a great feeling with that, but I know I want to see how you can do some, do some damage out there. That might be a tough one to get over into it. And this one's going to start things over. You're going to start in there good and go with the look. Uh, not my case, I would say that James McLaughlin is on a show right now. Started off in the first game in the second round, I do you really like that? I wouldn't do. I would appreciate that one more. Here's Anderson now finding it again to McLaughlin. Looks it over. Now finds it again to McDaniels. McDaniels trying to work his way across. The bounce pass. And the two for Edwards. That misses the target. Wallace with the rebound now finds it again to Giddy. Giddy will now have his own with a shot. It's the goal! 
for the finish, and he's fouled. Wallace with his first personal, and his second team foul for OKC. Just gonna have to say that he was gonna make a drive out of that and go with the dunk, but I would say that would have been like he's on the top of the fender. I don't know what he's doing, but oh, I want to see what he does. Anthony Edwards at the free throw line shooting two with under a minute to go, a 42-25 game. The free throw sets in for Anthony Edwards. Now with some new changes here on the court. The couple of the teams of the players have checked off the court. Coming on the court is Joe Wiggins and Williams. Wolves are making new changes here. McLaughlin's checked out, as now checking back in will be Monte Morris. Good for two. Here's Wallace, and they will have to call the timeout with only 46 seconds to go. 44 to 25 is the score once again. That's right now, they are trying to trail up, and they're right behind, 19. The NBA playoffs in the second round on 2K Sports is brought to you by your local Kia dealers, moving that spires. State Farm, like the neighbor, State Farm is there. And by Starry Lines. After a new change on the court, there's a status look in between for Shane and Burdick's Alexander. You know, I always never fit the battle right now, but this season had to be like that. The new record, he's putting high limits. Hmm, I hope so now. I mean, I don't know if this will happen. I'm tough in the team already. It may not be cleaning it already, but they are just trying to need to find an answer way. If they don't have the right choice, don't give off the credit of them. And so you can definitely do it again. They're back down by 17, as right now I'm here at McDaniels. Great move around here. Here comes Anthony Edwards. McDaniels finds Reed. Reed now finds it over to Monte Morris. The pass off to Anthony Edwards for two. Oh, what a great layup and head left hand. That was an excellent one to drive it from the right. Just gonna say no. I mean, is that anything clean? I really think so. Three-pointer misses. That ball puts a rebound by Joe with 10 seconds. And here's Wallace for three. This one sinks a triple. 46 to 30 is the score. So right now, the Wolves will finish their first half with 46 to 30. Great score in between, great drive effort, and excellent performances. Yeah, I gotta see the teams going. Quick stop. And now a chance now to go to courtside. This is David Aldridge. Hey, Dave. Hey, Kevin, with Carl Anthony Towns. Carl, you got some scoring going in that first half. What did you take advantage of? Oh, I was just finding spots. I'm not chasing it. Ooh, that didn't come to me. Uh, just using what my teammates give me. Productive pass so far, Carl Anthony. Thanks a lot. Back to you, Kevin. All right, thank you, David. Be back for the third quarter after this. It's, it's a 2K, 2K Sports, Sports Halftime Show. Hey again, everybody. So far, a pretty uh, lopsided game, but still one half to play. I'm Ernie Johnson, joined by Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny the Jet Smith. It was a closely contested first quarter for Minnesota. The period wrapped up with the teams on level ground and the score tied. They just exploded in the second quarter, grabbing the momentum and running with it. Basket after basket, and they played stingy defense. Now they've got a halftime lead that's going to be very difficult to erase. And uh, Kenny, what did you see out there from the Timberwolves? They were in such a groove that entire first half, especially on the offensive field. Good play call, good execution, and by and large, they a good, good, great shot. And now Shaq 
Let's get your opinion on Oklahoma City. Just bad interior defense for them throughout the half. They didn't push around, not protecting them, in, allowing easy looks. That's the kind of the I love to face. I've had at least 30 right now, guys. And that'll about do it as we get ready for the second half. Let's take it out to Kevin Harlan. Shout out to my man, man, Joel. Joel, what up? You've been watching the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Thanks for tuning us in, and we are ready to have the third quarter in action. It's right now, Anthony Edwards has already been smoking things under control in the first half. Played really well out there as he has 10 points. You know, I had a say for Anthony Edwards already. After playing with a couple teams, they're really they're expecting right now. How can you always find out if there's a great chance opportunity? You know, I like the feeling of right now for Anthony Edwards. He's going to be playing a lot and hopefully there's a starting groups are in between of Minnesota. Mike Collins with Anthony Edwards. J.D. McDaniels with Pearl Anthony Towns. And the center of it is Rudy Gobert. Here's the start range. He's now finding some new Rudy Gobert. The pass over now finding McDaniels. McDaniels trying to work his way across. Now finding Anthony Edwards for three. Triple range. No good. Well, Anthony Towns has his fourth rebound. Trying to make his way across now. Tries to give off to McDaniels. Here's the cut. Finding Carl finding Anthony Towns for two. Takes it in. And number two makes the release man. That's ten points for Carl Anthony Towns. And McDaniels with the assist. You know, I was really happy now. How to play for McDaniels, he got a great pass. And what a dog. Watch out for Chad Holmgren. He has a number two corner to get in. Just the same thing that you could always do. Get that in there and, you're, and someone else is on the line. Don't take the effort out there to try to slow it down. Reporter for David Aldridge says we do have another take. Carl Anthony Towns is really like all in the dimensional. It just keeps it in here going and he has just been delivering it. All he can do is just keep scoring it. You have a better chance now. I mean, always know that when you have to play it for, you gotta make sure you have that one in the right slot. I can always say the bigger difference is keep the play alive, and then when you get going, you'll get this one in no time. Here's Gobert, finds a pass over to Mike Conley. Mike Conley trying to work his way across now and finding McDaniels. McDaniels now finds it again to Conley. Off again to Anthony Edwards. Edwards now finds it again to Conley. Here's a two over the words Alexander. Misses it. Gobert back on over to Edwards. Moving the ball around for the Wolves. For the two, Carl Anthony Towns has 12 points in this game. Well, there's six minutes. You know what they say? Carl Anthony Towns, big finish, turn it over. And here's a chance to Williams right layup. Timeout call by the Minnesota Wolves with 5.39 to go in the third. Just gotta be some calling timeouts out there. Don't be losing your focus out there if you keep it in there. That's what every, everything has been said. Take all what you can, give it a go. Yep, they do. And we'll get right back to you shortly here after this. New line change here up and underway. Let's play real. And we're off to ready to get some new changes here for the Wolves and for the Thunders. As right now, Jay McDaniels is checked out and checking back in is Alexander Walker. Seems like their camera was not picking up their focus out there. I don't know what's going on, but looks like there needs to be a quick release button out there. They could have had that one in there. I mean, that should have been like that. Fixed away. The three starts things over. Pass unsuccessful. Here comes Edwards. And oh, woo! When you take over it, I would say Anthony Edwards, bigger jam. Check that out there, big win. What an excellent play for Anthony Edwards on the AT&T 5G Slam Camp. And he makes a three, the other side of it for the Thunders, 55-42. Now, I don't know what happened out here. I think that alley-oop was a little bit unsuccessful with the touch. It didn't seem like he was going to pop it in there. He felt like Edwards, take the slam. He really had that one in there. I don't know how he definitely did, but that's what he was definitely doing. Keeping it in there for a long while. 
Edwards now finds a pass again to Carl Anthony Towns. Here's a chance for a try. Takes it in. Carl Anthony Towns with 14 points. Now it's a 57-42 game. Ball a little lower now. I mean, they really are stuffing it in there. Giddy, the spin, painting, layup, and he makes it in. Beating over Rudy Gobert with the score. And he's trying to compare it in there, down by seven. Near the line, here's Gobert. Gobert now finds Mike Conley. Puts it over again to Edwards, down finds that going again to Gobert. Playoff man makes it in for Gobert. He has seven points in this game. 59-44 is the score. Just keep pushing in there. He wanted more. Holmgren on Rudy Gobert. Now finding again is Eugene Stork. With a shot. Oh, Gobert's got it! Looks it over. Anthony Edwards now finding again to Gobert. First rejection of the night for the Wolves. The three for Mike Conley. Swish his hand. Number one takes it in for the Wolves. He had nine points. Well, you sure do. Because that rejection, take another three. Josh Giddy now finding OJ Stork. Lots of the game. A pass. Oh, you're successful to Josh Giddy. Now it's a 62 46 game. Here's Mike Conley now finding that in. Two for it for Towns. Picks it in. Now has more. He has 16 points after Mike Conley with the assist. Just gonna have to let that keep on going, Carl Anthony. Two over to get a home break. Broken up the play. And Edwards now finding Cap. The rebound puts in for Chad Holmgren. Here now finds Giddy. Here he comes. The layup drive puts it in. Another defensive breakdown for the Wolves. Three minutes going by in the third quarter. He has 12 points. Now finds the pass to Edwards. A layup in. Picks it up. He puts it in now. At under three minutes to go in the third. Well, you're making this one a little bit of clearanceable. But if Anthony Edwards is making this one a lot powerful range than that, play in there is just not always when you start that off. Play it smart, get it from here. Not a timeout call by the OKC Thunders. Mr. Crunch out there rolling it up in the game in game two. But I don't know what you can definitely tell for. Well, it's just what they always do. Keep it in there as much as powerful you can. You can really play it over, and you can definitely love that too. For the next game coming up, we have the Pacers facing against, as they already eliminated right now, the Heat are battling against the Cavaliers at Mar Rocket Mortgage Fieldhouse. That'll be the next game underway at 7.30 p.m. As my next commentary I will have is Brian Anderson, and it's also along with the 2K Sports Group. And I'll be a part of the next game, and Ali LaForce on the sideline too. Probably all games here coming up after this. The NBA playoffs in the second round on 2K Sports is brought to you by Starry Lines. Sour Patch Kids. Sour Sweet Dog. And by American Express. Don't live life without it. Substitute change here for the Wolves and for the Thunders. Wallace has checked back in and we have a static here for the Jinx store. I've been playing it before since 2022 23. That last part of it turned to be real. All happens now when you get the knock with a good looking open offense, keep it in your time. They really gotta have that one all encountered in. Hayward from the outside. Passes out to Williams. The give over to Wallace. Three for Joe. For Joe. Makes it. 66 51 game as they're trying to get that close game in bound. Now Conley finds it over again to Rudy Gobert. The pass over to Anthony Edwards. Moving ball quick to quick. Great pass here for the Minnesota Wolves as they will try to keep the ball out of here without changing it over. Finding again. Here's Alexander Walker for the two. Steps it up in a range. He gets the five points. Now with two minutes to go, 68 to 51. Just have to play it in there where you know Alexander Walker has it. 
Here's Gordon Hayward, step back for two. Watching Joe. Here's the pass to Wallace. Three for Hayward. Misses again. Go Bears has seven three now. Off to Towns. Here he goes. First step, he makes a drive. That's 18 points for Brian Anthony Towns with nearing a 90 second mark. Well, they expect it now. Brian Anthony Towns overrated. Come on, man. Do we need that? Three for Wallace. No triple here. Back to Mike Conley, where we're now fighting again to Anthony Edwards. Edwards now finds the game to Towns. Looks it over again to Mike Conley. Conley now finds it again to Alexander Walker. Walker, team these are over. Now finding it again to Towns. Towns trying to reach his across. Around a man over Hayward and good. He has 40 points this game. Look how strong he's flexible now. If you want to play like him, you better have that one with another chance here. I'd like to see what you could do to play him right. Three for Joe. A number three pointer catches everybody outside in the corner. Now 72 54 game. And Conley will have it over now to the Rudy Gobert. Gobert now finding Conley. Gives a pass over now finding Anthony Towns. Towns trying to give over again. An open look back to Conley. Six to shoot. Edwards trying to race it across. Here's another takedown. The foul's called on the Thunders. Wiggins with his first personal and a first team foul for OKC. Anthony Edwards coming back to the free throw line and he will be shooting two. Makes the first three throw. I always say for Anthony Edwards, I mean, he's pretty really like a, a great playing bounds. Always got to know that for sure. When he plays it for once, he's got to make that one here feel more comfortable calling to Ant Man. Or simply name us Ant for sure. Ant Edwards? Ant Eds? What are you calling for that one? Fizz Ed? <laughs> I don't know if it would be like that. I mean, don't judge it. No one to question that. New couple players are checking in for the. For the Thunders and for the Minnesota Wolves. Now a pass over to Wallace with 20 seconds. Joe will have some, a little bit of time overlap before the time comes down to zero. Here's Hayward. Hayward give it again to Joe. Five to shoot. Hayward for three. Triple no good. And here's Anderson trying to go for the half court. Just went off the back board. A great score for our Minnesota Wolves as they're up by 20. It's a great win to get back in. But one more quarter left. It's not done yet. We have one more left. 74 to 54 is the score. Four quarters next after this. You're watching the NBA playoffs on 2K Sports. Just one quarter left to go. Starting up here at big as they're up by 20. Last group left, ready to get this game challenge done. As right now, you start in here. Monte Morris is with Anthony Edwards. Now it's reading right toward the center with Kyle Anderson. And across from here is Gina McDaniels. Moonbun is with Joe. Dort with Williams and the Warriors Alexander on the court. Edwards on a drive. Oh, another contact foul called on the OKC Thunders. That's another foul for Joe. Well, you can't just try to take over and try to slack it out. Anthony Edwards says, that's enough with the Thunders. I'm showing it no more again. Don't take that one aggressive. Anthony Edwards heading back to the third time in the free throw line. That's right now with only 7.45 to spare in the fourth quarter. Two shots. It's the first free throw. I always say Anthony Edwards has been playing with the University of Georgia. He played it for some, a lot of his great selection. I always say that he's definitely got into great career in throwing, playing with some all-time Edwards, and sometimes sec rookie of the year in 2020, and a second team all all very sec. He did the same thing. Almost got enough for that one here. He played it for some colleges, placed him a little bit more time, and then he played a lot of delicacy. 
right in between of those two before drafting in 2020 by the pandemic year. Gregorius Alexander now finding again the home run. The give over again to Gregorius Alexander. Another three point miss is the target. Here's Reed, finds over again to Anderson. Over now finding again, open look to, An to Edwards. Reed gives it again to Edwards. Here comes the brass break. Does it again! Oh man, Edwards and an ant slam down. That is boom! See ya! What a take! That's what I know for. That's what I was gonna say for. What a slam dunk this is. I love this guy! The Gordon Alexander makes the later. And this is what everyone has been calling for. Shay on the fast break to finish the drive. Always gotta take it in there for some long. For me, do it again. Here comes Anthony Edwards. He's gonna do it. And a drive. Oh, no problem. Edwards has got 25 points. And their team is loving it. Edwards can just let it go backward. No, he can. They can definitely do some a little bit of a throwdowns in between. I know you can always see that one coming in there and you can try to play hard like that. Let me show you some a little bit of a more respect if you want to play like for real. Edwards now finds it over again to Reed. Reed fades, now finds it over again to McDaniels. Here's the drive, step in, over to a good. McDaniels with another two fucking player as Edwards with the assist. Timeout call by OKC Funders with 6.15 to go. Well, you can suspect right now, they are losing power. They are never going to let it go to a charge out there. They're going to make them feel like, uh-oh, no way you can't let that one slow down now. As we take out a little bit more of the focus here, we've got a nice predictable matchup as we're ready to have that one in here. As we go back to hockey, we've got the Leafs and the Bruins. It's right now, this will be game three underway soon. If you're on the other side, Keep your update here, so there will be another game to change off out there. So keep your eyes peeled on that. That change off has to be like what they always need to do. I mean, it always gives them a little bit of accomplishment out there. I mean, play hard. I mean, do something that's real fun. I mean, you know, I always can definitely say it right now. They have been like doing it great. But sometimes I'm like, I mean, you don't really try to like kick that push over into an offense and that one goes in for another take. That's what I can really scan this before. They're really playing it for a lot, but hopefully, they might do it for really good. Keeping it in there. Two groups of the dishes on the court, as right now, the couple players are checked out. OKC Funders have home ground checked out. And now, checking back in, will be Williams. The Gordich Alexander with the ball. And the Wolves are making new changes. Three players are checked out. And three players checked in. McLaughlin, Morrison, Edwards moves over to small four. Here's another take for Anthony Edwards. Now back in again to Monte Morris. Monte Morris trying to step in. Oh, what a fancy drive this is. Monte Morris finally gets his first bucket in. Just got to go with the big look over. Got to go with the go forward attack. Ready? Go. Take the drive in. Williams. And it's another Williams with the bucket. And you brought Alexander with the assist. 84 58 to score. 5 30 left to go in the fourth quarter. McLaughlin's in the corner. Give the pass over. Now find it again to Monte Morris. Finds the pass. Here's the take for Reed. Reed finds the pass. Edwards with an open look. Three pointer. You bet. That's 28 points for Edwards. You're loving that fireball stop. I mean, Edwards is like, should be an MVP this time. Would he be? Williams, blocked by Reed. Here's an air take. We're blocked by number now to Monte Morris. He finds the pass. Edwards going for another take. Oh, yes, he does. He has 30 points in his game in game one against the Thunders. And now they are extending it. Here's a take. And now it's Dort with a slam dunk down. 89 to 60 is the score with 4 3 to go. Edwards feeling it out a little bit. He wants to give off to Reed. Now finds the pass again to Anthony Edwards. Edwards trying to give it over. Look. Fade the shot. Here's McLaughlin. Off for three. 
and it will miss it off the target. And those rolling in and out. Here's Joe. Pass is over, and they're free for a dork. We'll have a swish hit from that bucket outside. It's now an 8963 game. You're always getting sent it out because the door. They really expect you to. They have played it really well. They are now just trying to get down with an open look. Don't take it too much of it if you can. Edwards now finding it again to Monte Morris. Here's a chat catching over two. Makes a try. He has four points in this game. And this one creates another field goal range in between. Now you really are not just going to stand up alone. Timberwolves? They're really like the best on a team. Second seed team? Always going to count that for sure. The pass over to Reed. The layup, he makes it in. That's his second bucket for Nas Reed and McLaughlin with the assist. Just got to play it in there. That, that was my mom McLaughlin do. You give it a go. The pass over to Williams with the slam dunk down in one hand. Final three minutes in the fourth quarter of regulation. As right now McLaughlin will now have it again. Stolen by Williams. Go Warriors Alexander with the dunk. Yes, he will. He definitely has that dunk in down. Has that one coming back down with a 93-69 game. Now there's no chance here. Never gonna say that Shaky Critics Alexander, he really been pushing it in there for so long. Edwards now finds the pass to Reed. Reed gives it over again, now passes again to Anderson. Five to shoot. Here's Edwards. Overtake with a shot. And the drive. What a terrific performance here for Edwards. 32 points in the game with seven minutes range in between. You know the fans love that? Anthony Edwards keeps it in here for good. And up with the drive. Misses. Edwards with the rebound. Second rebound of the night. He will now have some time to try to give it over to Reed. And he takes it in. Great pass here for Anthony Edwards as Reed has his third bucket. The recording to Alexander finds again to Williams. He will have it in. And that will be the last timeout right now. That's right now that Anthony Edwards is having a lot of fun takeover and he's been like a killer. Yo, we say now, whoop, whoop, you gotta take over for Anthony Edwards, you gotta bring him up, all responsive, and take all you get. With only two minutes to go, as we're ready to send you down for tonight's game, it'll be 7.30. That'll be coming up underway in just a few minutes, uh, a few hours left to go. And right now we will have the next part of it, of the matchup between the Cavaliers and the Heat at Rocket Mortgage Fieldhouse. Jimmy Butler is looking for his next uh, next way to get back into work, beating against the Cavaliers, another underdog team, or they could definitely keep that one coming back in. Now, I might be saying Jimmy Butler has been really been dominating all of the way. Just shut down the games already against the Bucks. They've really been fighting for a lot of time out there. I won't believe. This will take a lot of great carry on and they can definitely try to keep going again. Who knows? You might play it for once or go for twice. Let's find out if he does. And now it's time to present your New Balance player of the game. So all goes to the one and only play of the game, Anthony Edwards. You know, he's just finished now. I mean, there you go. Anthony Edwards has been on a star. Two slam dunks down, and that's how you can play it like that. Why not? Anthony Edwards adding another playoff position here in the postseason and making a lot of scores count and negotiate and get right to the game. As McDaniels has checked on the court, against Monte Morris, he will start things over. Final group of a substitution on the court. Now McDaniels will have it over now, finding Reed. Reed trying to give over the game to McDaniels. McDaniels tries to give over to Monte Morris. Five seconds to shoot. Here's McDaniels. The two up again, two. The rebound for Nas Reed. Back and over to Monte Morris. Again to McDaniels. McDaniels tries to give off to Reed. Go for triple. Yes, sir! Nas Reed with nine points now has 100 to 71. 
Oh man, everybody loves three pointers. Hey, about the swoosh now. Wiggins around Anderson. He's fouled. That'll be his first personal. And another team foul for the Minnesota Wolves. Shooting for Oklahoma City. Wiggins at the line for two. Misses the first free throw for Wiggins. Now, you know what the complaints about that one for Mark and, of course, Chris Finch? They're really have been making that one a little bit of a start showing off on their, on their pointing of this game. I don't know what's going on, but hey, don't let them get away from this. I need to start showing things up a little bit more if they can. Second free throw, we'll set it in. It's a 100 to 72 game. Monte Morris will sell things down with just one minute to go in regulation. The pass over to McDaniels. He finds it now over to get to Reed. Reed, up for the two with the drive. That strong defense puts it up for Williams. And now here's Wallace. Wallace back the airway. Three for Gregory Alexander. He will sink the triple in. 100 to 75 to score. And now back again. It's Monte Morris. Morris trying to give it over again, now finding it again to McDaniels. McDaniels gives a pass over now to Reed. Reed slides it back, now find a pass over. Reed gives it over to get it to Morris. Five seconds to shoot. McDaniels for the last two, and he will stick it in. He is putting it in with nine points, finishing off for game one. Yeah, I always going to do that. Game one, got to show it down and finish it up. And Award will finish the three-pointer for the OKC Funders. And now, the last chance for the, for the Wolves will come to an end. Final score, 102 to 78 is your final. What an excellent game for game one. On a great start for the battle range for second and third seed. Hey, it's nothing but anybody, but it's anybody's game. All play for everyone. We really love that appreciation. And when you do for the better of this game, go for the better look, play the better offense to get it done. We close things off here as we now go to courtside for a player of the game, David Eldridge. Here you have, Dave. Thank you, Kevin, with Carl Anthony Towns. You look so calm on the block. What has that focus been like for you? Just being patient, uh, waiting for my shot to come, not really forcing anything, but also being aggressive. And you do both very well. Thanks, Kat. Back to you, Kevin. All right, hey, David, thank you. And that's going to wrap it up for your folks. Along with me, Sonny Beast, along with Pink Russian Geeks of East, and David Aldrich. This has been a presentation of the NBA playoffs at the conference semifinals. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you again next time. So long in Minnesota. All right, Son of Beast, thank you so much. A great appreciation always starts things over. The Minnesota Wolves start things off for the first game. Yeah, I know. They've always been showing it off like he did. Just some performance out there. All goes to Anthony Edwards. He's been playing it really well. But we'll get to the three-star players in the game in a moment. Here's what you did with the total statistics. 72 for a field goal range, Minnesota. Both guys have three pointers in between, with nine, but there is no lead off competitions. Only 69 for the advanced set of wolves for three pointers. Free throws was perfect, excellent run, and it was 12 fast break points for the OKC Thunders. 48 for the wolves on the points in the paint, they just did what they can do, keep it on going. They really like it. Everywhere. You know, just not that one anyway. <laughs> but that was all that happened now. Oh my gosh. Now the second chance points was 12 for Minnesota. The 25 bench points. 40 assists in a row. Now who's crazy enough to have that lucky moment? You know, I do. Well, then there's was another one. <laughs> you can get that one out there you want. Eight defensive rebounds for Minnesota. With 22 defensive rebounds, two steals, and three blocks. Great job. Two turnovers were even right in between Minnesota and Oklahoma City. Two team fouls for Minnesota. Got lucky luck. 
six dunks for OKC Thunders, 31 biggest lead for Minnesota, and 18.46 time of session for the Wolves. Excellent game, excellent encouragement. Now time for three star players of the game. All right, Terry, let's take you all. What do you got? All right, I know what you're getting. The third star will start things over as I get over into the nicest start run in. Shea Gordix Alexander with 15 points, with one rebound, 10 assists, and 7 out of 11 field goals. One three pointer, three dunks. Okay with that. 37 performance effort. He just made that one into a finish. Now for our number two spot, we go right to the Minnesota Wolves. The Wolfpack brings on with the other side. Carl Anthony Towns with 20 points, 5 rebounds, 4 assists, and 1 steal. 10 out of 11 field goal range. No three pointers here. He only had 31 performance effort. Only wants to take the two instead of the threes. And for your number one star, New Balance player of the game, it has to be one call, one wish you expect. It means for everybody who loves the most. Anthony Edwards, 32 points, excellent takeover, two rebounds, 10 assists in a row, 12 out of 16 field goals, two three pointers, 53 performance effort, and two dunks. How can you just say it down and you can slam it across Anthony Edwards on the roll? And hey, what's the catch? Make it fair, make it down. Boom! See ya! <laughs> oh, I just really know that. I mean, that's, that's everybody's game. I mean, play for everybody. Carl Anthony Towns gives appreciation, and so it comes down to the second game completion. We have one game left to go, and for that moment, as will be tomorrow night, will be the Nuggets facing over against the Dallas Mavericks back at Mile High. So the last game will happen, and this will be all the games here that will be coming in at 8.30 p.m. The last part of the game will be the Cavaliers and the Heat, as the time is always postponed, so we'll keep you eyes shortly here for the next two games only. And because of that, we don't want to take too much time in the credit effort. Let's keep it here at the same time. And in the meantime, Terry Cruz is out of here. And along with Clover, peace out for a while as the NBA. Tough 2K Sports of the Playoff Dial. This is Terry Cruz and Clover. Thank you all so much for joining us. And as always, till next time. Bye bye, everybody. See you next time in the game. Until then.